Juru bicara keamanan nasional Gedung Putih Amerika Serikat, John Kirby, mengungkapkan bahwa Korea Utara telah mengirim seribu kontainer peralatan militer dan amunisi ke Rusia dalam rangka membantu Rusia berperang dengan Ukraina. Hal ini diungkapkan oleh Kirby pada hari Jumat 13 Oktober 2023. Due in part to our sanctions and export controls, Russia has been forced to desperately search around the world for military equipment. As we've been warning publicly, one of those states is North Korea. And we now have information that North Korea has delivered arms to Russia for use in Ukraine. Our information indicates that in recent weeks, North Korea has provided Russia with more than 1,000 containers of military equipment and munitions. Today, we are releasing imagery showing the movement of these containers from the DPRK into Russia by ship. Menurut informasi dari Gedung Putih, kontainer peralatan militer itu dikirim antara tanggal 7 September dan 1 Oktober. Gedung Putih juga merilis gambar yang menunjukkan kontainer itu dimuat ke kapal berbendera Rusia sebelum dipindah dengan kereta api di Baradaya Rusia sekitar 290 km dari perbatasan Ukraina. Menurut Kirby, AS yakin Kim mencari teknologi senjata canggih Rusia sebagai imbalan atas amunisi untuk meningkatkan program nuklir Korea Utara. Klaim AS ini muncul ketika melihat Presiden Korea Utara Kim Jong-un berkunjung ke Rusia untuk bertemu Vladimir Putin dan mengunjungi situs-situs militer. Diketahui pada bulan lalu, Kim telah bertemu dengan Putin dan menyerukan peningkatan eksponensial dalam produksi senjata nuklir. Pertemuan Kim dan Putin itu memicu kekhawatiran para sekutu Ukraina bahwa kemungkinan ada kesepakatan senjata. Dalam hal ini, AS mengecam Korea Utara karena menyediakan peralatan militer kepada Rusia. We condemn the DPRK for providing Russia with this military equipment which we use to attack Ukrainian cities, kill Ukrainian civilians and further Russia's illegitimate war. We will continue to monitor for any additional DPA, DPRK arms shipments to Russia. We also are increasingly concerned about Russian assistance to the DPRK. In return for its support, we assess that Pyongyang is seeking military assistance from Russia, including fighter aircraft, surface-to-air missiles, armored vehicles, ballistic missile production equipment, or other materials and other advanced technologies. We are monitoring closely whether Moscow will provide Pyongyang with these materials and we have already observed that Russian ships offloading containers in the DPRK which may constitute may constitute the initial deliveries of material from Russia. <tik>